How's it going? This is Fox back again. This is a, a couple of quick tips in one for UVI Falcon. The first one is going to be how to switch between different key groups if you've got more than one key group uh, layered making your sound up. It's real straightforward. If you're in the parts section, if you're hovering over your key group, there isn't really any way that you can change key groups by double clicking or there's no drop down menus for the key group in regards to changing from one to another. Um, the only way you can do it is via the list view. Um, I really advise people trying to get used to having this list view open. It opens up a lot of doors and uh, gives you a good visual display of what's going on. So we'll talk about key group one. If I turn key group two down. So key group one for me is a couple of free analog oscillators. Uh, I've got an analog filter, some drive and an EQ. Trying to make a deep house sort of bass. So yeah, the way to switch between different key groups, um, I have two key groups, that was the first key group. The second key group, if I turn that one down, the second key group is a pluck, pluck oscillator with a snare in there. Uh, and I've got the two layered together to create the sound. You can hear that pluck cutting through. So yeah, one simple way of flicking between these key groups is in this light list view. I mean, you can do it in the tree, in the tree view. You can click between the two key groups. It's as simple as that. Click on which one you want, key group one, key group two. In the list view, you can do it the same. Uh, the added bonus that you have inside this key group view, uh, the list view, sorry, is that you can actually rename from here. Um, I spent ages sort of double clicking on the names again, right clicking, trying to work out how to rename the key groups or rename the layers. Um, you can't even do it from the tree view. It has to be done from the list view. So that's why I say you really want to get used to keeping this open. If you want to rename these key groups, um, once you are in the list view, all you do is double click on the name and you can rename it. I'll call this one analog. This was the basis of the sound, those free analog oscillators. And then switch to the second key group. Ding. Double click it. We'll rename this Pluck. It's as simple as that. You've got control over the key range. You can drag up or down to change the key range from here without actually having to go into the mapping section and changing the, the, the route, the key, velocity, or like sort of all in that section. If we expand this out. You actually have some more controls here. You've got the trigger on. You've got the X group. Um, you've got some copy, cut, copy and paste if you wanted to paste like key groups. So you've got them the same and then change certain bits. Or you wanted to add some separate EQ in or different effects to a group. That's one way of doing it. You can also, um, if you have multiple layers, you can mute and solo. You can rename the layers. We'll call this one bass because it is a bass patch what I was making. <laughs> Really, really neat having the uh, ability to lay, uh, layer these different key groups. Um, it takes a while to get used to the different, the structure of the sound, if you like. You've got to think from the bottom up. The program is your highest point in a part, and then you can have multiple parts. So you always think as you come down, it's sort of spreading it out. You can have multiple layers in a program, multiple key groups in a layer, multiple oscillators in a key group. Straightforward as that. So yeah, to, to switch between certain key groups or layers, we create another layer. If we go back to the tree section, part, um, there we go. Add a new layer. So if you've got multiple layers, which we have here, same thing again. To to click between them, you can do it when you're in tree in the tree mode, if you like. This is a good way of seeing everything you've got in the stack. Uh, but so for me, the list view is a lot, lot better. You can mute and solo the layers. Again, to change between the layers, just click on it. Change between the different key groups inside your layers. To rename the layers, double click. Rename, and then you're away. Um, I've got used to sort of having this open all the time. You can change a lot of things from here. I mean, you can change the polyphony. You can transpose them. 
um, you got the volume for each program and things like that it's, it's a neat way to delve right into the patch just try and get used to having it open yeah the main thing with this for this tutorial was to show you how to flick between different key groups so when you're in a list view click, click on it and to rename them the only place you can rename from is in the list view okay so that's it thanks for watching more tips to come